Hi, this is a quick uh, Fluke 8846A teardown. So uh, let's look inside. And we have here some protection circuitry, relays. Um, I don't know what that is, but this looks like uh, some type of precision resistor network. Uh, it uh, looks like something that's laser cut. Um, CMOS uh, backup battery for uh, time and date, I guess. I don't. I, I hope calibration data doesn't depend on this. And let's look at the brain. We got the uh, Altera Cyclone FPGA. Um, it's uh, EP1C12F256C8. Uh, Samsung. I don't know, looks like uh, dynamic RAM, I guess. Uh, there's a Philips chip there. It's uh, ISP1161A1BD. Uh, there's another chip there. Uh, it says MT. I have no idea who the manufacturer is. And there's a chip here by Spansion that looks like uh, Flash flash RAM. There is a second uh, uh, Altier FPGA, uh, exact same model as the first one. Uh, we have some uh, DIY opto isolation uh, and of course even expensive meters are no exception to botched jobs. So we got some wires. Um, there is a uh, the PCB traces are lifted off the boards. Actually, they're ripped out of the boards. And there is some uh, single strand wire uh, jumping the chip from one side to another into some resistors. And uh, there's this second chip there, too. Also has a little, little jumper wire. So we have an input selection here on the front. And there's a sliding switch on the other side on the bottom of the PCB. You can see it sliding back and forth. Um, the transformer here has multiple taps for both sides, and uh, the high voltage side has a voltage selector here that goes from 100 volts to I believe 230, um, with five steps in or three or three or five steps in between. I actually haven't checked. There's a little fuse holder in the back, right there, and the IEC plug with a little grounding connector. And uh, there is some uh, LM317s on the back here. Uh, let's see what else. It kind of looks like a big cap. Uh. Another looks like one of those uh, precision resistors. A small relay, uh, analog devices, chip. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Ah, I can't see it. Anyway, it's there. Trust me. Um, I don't know. Nothing really interesting. I don't. I don't think there's anything on the back of the board. Uh, it looks like just really wide traces. Um, ground planes and so on. Tons of resistors around the FPGA. Uh, some... I don't know what those are. There are five, the label says 5BD02FM. And there's another interesting component here. It says LM399H. And uh, on the board it says, uh, okay, voltage regulator, I guess. Some more American uh, <laughs> analog devices uh, components here. Looks like an LED. Um, that's it. There's really not much linear technology, something. LTC1385CG. Uh, this is the back. 
So you got your GPIB, RS232, LAN, and triggering I.O. On-off switch, fuse, voltage selector, and there's your uh, jacks on the back. Client shunt. Couple of transistors and voltage regulators, looks like. Yeah, LM317. Couple of caps here. Really not much. I'm, I'm surprised it cost as much as it cost. I guess it's look. I'm sure uh, Chinese friends can clone this for a third of the price if they wanted to. I guess most of the price is in R&D and the name. Uh, this is approximately fifteen hundred dollars. So let's look at the face. So this is the face. There you have your input jacks, front rear selection, range if you use manual range, the bolts. Um, USB for uh, data logging and uh, soft keys here. Uh, display is uh, uh, dot matrix VFD. And that's a quick teardown of Fluke 8846A.